Hi there, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I'm going to show you the extra wheel. Now that adds an extra wheel to something. So if you have a six wheeler, for example, you would add two of these in the middle and then let uh, the four wheeler uh, handle the, the four other wheels. And uh, what this one does, it's it's uh, totally passive. So you can't actually have a, a physical suspension effect with it but uh, in most cases you will just do, do do that just fine with this so what I will do here is just to show quickly the principles of it and uh, if we have the parameters open here we can see that uh, there are a few parameters I will not go into the gravel shake uh, that's an input parameter that is similar to the four wheelers uh, because I won't have that time um, but uh, let's just look at the inputs here first because uh, inputs always tell us what uh, features does this one have. Well, the first one is uh, I could couple a gravel shake amplitude. So if I if I want to increase the detail on this one without increasing the polygon and uh, poly count, then I could uh, use my input device for this one, and then you um, change the the characteristic of the gravel here and then you can lock the wheels and now this would be uh, the exact same parameter I would if I for example have skid brake in my four-wheeler which you need to, the four-wheel tutorial to understand but if I do a skid brake then I uh, if, if I lock the wheels of, of the car and I have these extra wheels then I would like them to lock with the exact same uh, input uh, button for example so that they lock at the same time so that's uh, what the only thing that th the inputs can do for this one otherwise it's totally passive and as usual you have the uh, the uh, standard that uh, everything that's read can be uh, parented to something or linked in 3ds max and have an effect so as usual we have this gravity direction mesh here and this one tells the simulator what ground we are supposed to to drive on and in this case it's this ground of course and what I do then is I select and then shift select the ground and then I parent it to that ground uh, or press P like that now it's a, now this is a child to the ground here in max you link it and this one here is the suspension mesh and uh, this one well you simply parent it to the object that you want to control the wheel with drag along the wheel with uh, and the thing here is that uh, let's just animate this one a bit here so let's hit a key there and move to say 100 and we'll have gone past that curb here now the curb is uh, of little interest uh, of uh, of interest here so let's put a keyframe there also and then i will wait for a while let's put a keyframe there too and then i will move the box sideways here for a good reason like that I put a keyframe there like that so if I hit record now you will see what happens here the wheel rotates with the carriage and bang it goes up the curb however if we look at the curb situation here uh, we will see that it actually penetrates the wheel and that's because the ray multiplier is just it just throws one ray straight down here but if we increase the ray multiplier here to uh, so we can uh, uh, change the edges of course you, you scale the wheel also if you have a, another scale of that wheel so that's that's obvious I hope and uh, let's just change this ray multiplier to 10 and say we have angles of 2 between those 20 rays that it casts now actually it's 21 uh, and hit record again and now let's see what happens we get the curve there and it moves quite nicely over it that's my guess at least yeah 
so right here we just go over the curb in a totally um, more realistic way and uh, there's one more thing here that could be shown let's actually put another keyframe here and see because we have the suspension length and if I now move the uh, the uh, box here upwards for a while here right there uh, then you will see that the as soon as the, this is 1.5 times the radia, radius of this one so 1 and 1.5 up here when this one reaches uh, this point here then uh, we will lift the wheel so let's just hit record this one won't move now because it's always in the center of the wheel but uh, somewhere when the box has risen say to, to so that the bottom plate is over here then it should lift the wheel let's uh, make sure we see that also yeah like that so then it goes back like that uh, the Camtasia is uh, doing this uh, a little slower here but um, let's hit this for one I don't know if that could be having some influence it shouldn't and uh, let's see what happens when it goes sideways now So it's there and now it should go there right so you see what happens here is that the wheel does not turn and that's the default setting fixate wheel however if I uncheck this one we will see something else now this one starts to go backwards here so it will just flip very quickly here uh, usually if I have an eight wheeled vehicle for example that that uh, rotates all wheels then uh, this would uh, this uh, unchecking here would be necessary because otherwise uh, it wouldn't look very realistic but if I hit record here now uh, we see that the wheel actually turns and not only the wheel also this uh, suspension mesh because what we want to be able to do with this wheel is to add a uh, caliper to it so this caliper would then not rotate with a wheel but it would uh, r uh, turn with it so in, you would then uh, link the or parent the the uh, caliper to this suspension mesh here and that way you would have it look uh, exactly as it should look so that's that with a fixated wheel uh, the gravel shake I said I want wouldn't and the gravel smoothness so you have actually have three different factors here one for the input how quickly it reacts to that input um, signal and then how smooth the gravel is so the smaller this one is this more smooth the the gravel shake will be on this wheel and uh, if you want to have constant gravel shake on it you could actually um, let's say we bind it to this button here then I go into advanced and I make an offset there of one that way we would have it on all the time so now now we actually have gravel shake on this extra wheel here and uh, even though it, if it's even though it's quite small because the amplitude is 0 0.1 here uh, it is visible if you go closer to it and I think that's actually the the uh, everything that we knew if you want to re reinitialize it with a different scale you use this one and I think that's it so uh, thank you for listening and uh, I wish you good luck with it thank you